the renowned physicist and Nobel laureate Roger Penrose, has made a bold claim by suggesting that the black hole of an early universe was responsible for the Big Bang and the birth of our present universe. According to Penrose, our Big Bang was the result of an earlier eon that compressed into a flattened infinity, implying that our eon began with a Big Bang and will end in an exponential expansion. Before us, there was another eon, and after us, there will be another, forming an infinite Big Bang cycle. This theory posits that the universe undergoes constant imaging and expansion until it reaches a point where there is no more energy. Then, somehow, another Big Bang arises from that state. Moreover, recent discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope support this argument. Stay with us because we are going to dwell into the details of this recent discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope and Roger Penrose's bold statement on the truth of the universe. The remote future manifests itself as we go about our daily lives. The vastness of space often steers our imagination, and when observing the night sky, we sometimes come across objects that are strangely familiar to us, raising a host of questions in our minds about the origin of nature. Thanks to scientific and technological advances, we have come to understand that these celestial wonders are composed of the same phenomena that make up our own existence. We find ourselves connected to the elements of the cosmos. With the advent of powerful telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope, we have acquired the ability to explore more distant corners of the universe. Each observation takes us on a journey through time, revealing the secrets of the early stages of our universe. According to our current understanding of the cosmos, this was a time of young stars and galaxies, a period of cosmic birth. Our standard model presents us a representation of the early universe, showing us the evolution of galaxies and stars over time. This model is based on careful observations with powerful telescopes as well as our own current knowledge of the laws of physics. However, recent revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope have challenged our established model. The intriguing concept posits that black holes existing in an earlier universe, which already possessed considerable mass, may have had an influence on the expansion of our present universe. Observations of radiating spots in the cosmic microwave background support this idea, strengthening the notion of a cyclic process. This proposed model may seem far-fetched, but it somehow makes sense with the notion of the Big Bang in the remote future of an earlier eon. Instead of conceiving of the universe as a single event, with the Big Bang marking the beginning and the remote future representing the end, Roger Penrose posited that this is just one eon, one stage in a possibly infinite succession of eons following one after another. Were these black holes from a previous era really responsible for driving the expansion of our universe after the cataclysmic event known as the Big Bang? Or are there other mechanisms at play, hidden by the limitations of our current understanding? The events that took place after the Big Bang are intricate and complex, exceeding the explanatory capacity of existing theories. Our current understanding is insufficient to elucidate the enigmatic behavior exhibited by these earlier galaxies. In light of these astonishing revelations, perhaps it is time to consider alternative theories of creation to help us unravel the mysteries of the early universe. The limitations of our current model governing our understanding of the universe become evident in the face of these cosmic enigmas. It may be necessary to consider new perspectives, such as the existence of a universe of black holes or a multiverse that can shed light on our cosmic origins. In a recent study conducted by a team of German and Georgian researchers, an intriguing idea has been put forward. Advanced civilizations could be using black holes as quantum computers. This study, conducted by Gia Daiwi, a theoretical physicist at the Max Planck Institute of Ludwig Maximilian University in Munich, and Sarah Osano, professor of physics at the Free University of Tbilisi and a researcher at the Georgian Astrophysical Observatory in Harad, is currently under review for publication in an international astrobiology journal. This research suggests that black holes could be the key to understanding why we have not detected extraterrestrial activity in the cosmos. Traditionally, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence has focused on looking for radio signals from distant star systems. However, the researchers argue that this approach may be overlooking other possible technological signals, so they suggest broadening the research to include a wider range of phenomena, such as neutral signals, quantum communications, and gravitational waves. Quantum computing offers exponentially faster processing speeds and greater security compared to traditional digital computing. Given the rapid advancement of technology, it is reasonable to assume that advanced civilizations would adopt this technology on a much larger scale. 
black holes, with their ability to store and process quantum information, would be ideal for meeting the computational needs of these civilizations. This idea is based on the work of physicist Roger Penrose, who theorized that black holes could provide an unlimited source of energy by extracting rotational energy from the osphere. The osphere is a region located just outside the event horizon of a black hole, where matter falls into a rapidly spinning disk and emits enormous amounts of radiation. It is interesting to note that our galaxy hosts a supermassive black hole of approximately 4 million solar masses. In addition, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is expected to collide in the future with the Andromeda Galaxy. Although it is uncertain when this will occur, it is an event that will happen sometime in the future. Black holes are likely to spiral into each other, and some researchers have suggested that harnessing this energy could be the ultimate energy source for an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. In their study, Wally and Osmanov proposed that black holes could also be used as the ultimate source of computation to optimize computational performance. The researchers argued that advanced civilizations would create numerous microscopic black holes, which would be more energetic than natural black holes. These artificial black holes would emit high-energy radiation known as Hawking radiation, which could serve as a potential technological signature. It is theorized that this radiation is emitted just outside the event horizon of a black hole due to quantum effects. This radiation decreases the mass and rotational energy of the black hole, leading to its eventual evaporation. The emitted radiation would be composed of various subatomic particles, including neutrinos, which are highly penetrating and therefore excellent messengers. The researchers suggest that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations could produce high-energy neutrinos using Hawking radiation from micro-black holes or through the collision process of particles used in the manufacture of advanced technologies. What do you think? Let us know in the comments box. If you liked the video, hit the like button and share it so it can reach more people. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss more content like this and see you in the next video.